Late last night, Baltor attacked Lightrock Fortress. I'm sorry to report that after a fierce battle, he took all of their magic spells. Lightrock has one of the most powerful spell collections in all the realms. And they have one of the most powerful defense systems as well. Both of those facts are true. Baltor is amassing more and more power, and we have to stop him before he gets hold of all our magic spells and becomes invincible. But how? We can't even find him. We'll start with the last place he attacked, Lightrock. There must be some magical traces that he left behind that will give us a clue. Huh? Digit, but do you think you could finish up, please? I need the computer. I'm going on a mission to try and find Baltor's hideout. Can you wait for me? I really, really want to go with you. I'll just be one second. Oh, no! How did get so big? Goodness, that's not fair at all. Scarf at you should pick on somebody his own size. This is just a silly game. What I need is to go with you on a real mission. Digit, you can't come with me. You're too tiny, and this mission is too dangerous. <sighs> so, what mission are we going on today? We're not going. I am. That's not fair. How come I can't go, too? Fairies only. Maybe next time, Toon. See ya! Hmm. Okay, Pixies, listen carefully. Baltor might take advantage of our absence and sneak into Althea. So, be on the lookout. Don't worry, Miss Farragonda. You're talking to the Pixie of Passages. I'll go and put a spell on all the entrances and exits in and out of the school. Thanks, anyway. But we already have a powerful spell protecting the school. Hey, Lockett. I wouldn't take it personally if I were you. She always acts like she rules the school. Did it? She does rule the school. She's the headmistress. I'm sorry, Kiko, but you can't come. You're too tiny. What is going on today? You'd think we shrunk the way everyone keeps calling us tiny. Do me a favor and keep an eye on Piff for me. Okay, you guys? Don't worry, Layla. I think we should be able to handle that. Piloting this spaceship takes the most advanced training there is. Beware! A sudden flash from deep space! Raise the reflective shield! I wonder if Baltor would like to take a ride inside a twister. You don't understand, guys. Shh. Oh, and what do you think, Darcy? That when he sees that sculpture on his head, he's going to pick you as his main witch? Guys have egos and like to be flattered even more than girls. Yeah, well, maybe. What are you getting so upset about? Did you ever think that maybe you'd be better off if Baltor doesn't pick you? You're just saying that because you want him for yourself, I see. No, not anymore. I've lost interest completely. We're not falling for that. We've seen the way you look at him. Yeah, so what if? I'm the most important of the three of us, so I get first dip. No way, forget that. And I say, well... <sighs> what are we gonna do? Have a witch fight? A spell duel? Come on, there's gotta be a more peaceful solution to this problem. <gasps> there is. Let me have him. That's the only peaceful solution I can think of. <sighs> you make me so mad! <laughs> hey, aren't you one of those mini fairies that hang out with those Althea losers? What did she say? Did you understand that? No, she's talking baby talk. Wait a minute, I just got a major brainstorm. Don't these pixies have a bunch of ancient spells and charms and whatnot? Yeah, just the same as all other magical beings, so what? So, I propose that the one who gets their spell treasure first is the one who also gets Baltor. What do you think? Is that the perfect solution or what? Hmm. Hmm. 
This is getting more and more interesting. So if you agree, then let's go. Their spell treasure is probably hidden somewhere in their village. That may be true, but the Pixies must have moved their village since we last tracked it down and took their codex. No problem. We just make this pixie spill it. All right, tell us where your village is right now. Even if it does talk, we won't understand what it's saying. We could just search for the village. We'll probably find it, or even better. Since pixies never travel alone, if we start to squash this one, the others are bound to come out to try to save it. <coughs> oh, that really stings. <coughs> Here I go. Yes, to the rescue. I'm coming, Grim. Get back here! Quick, go to Althea and get some help! Why do I have to do that? Glim is safe now! Because all the pixies are away at the harvest ceremony, and the village is completely unprotected! How long should I keep my eyes closed? Another few minutes. And after that, you'll put the soothing ice on? <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. All right. Wait a second. Where's Darcy? Hmm? 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 She must have snuck off to try and get a head start on finding the pixie village. Well, we better go then. Hmm. But I have to fix your eyes. Just be quiet and the magic ice will soothe your eyes in no time. Okay, but listen. I have an idea. What if the two of us make a separate deal together, without Darcy? We'll team up to find Pixie Village, and once we do, we'll restart the competition. Oh, sorry, I forgot. You said to keep quiet. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Well, if she really loves me, she took me on a mission with her. Yeah! They're treating us like we're some kind of little dolls and that we don't know how to behave on the battlefield. I don't know about you guys, but I, for one, am offended. Just because we're small doesn't mean we're not tough. Yeah, that's right. Even Pix is tough. to attack the village, and all the pixies are there. Oh, no, that's wrong. What do you say you read us the paper? Oh, okay. Well, let's see here. The pixie spell treasure is in great danger. All the pixies are away at the harvest ceremony, and the village is empty. We need your help right away. We've got ourselves a mission. <laughs> out of them. Get away from those pixies. I put them in the funnel. They belong to me. I that one the spaceship. Come in. Thanks for the ride, but we gotta go now. See ya, Huh? Hmm. Those pixies we pests don't want to cooperate. We'll just do it the hard way. 
If their village is hidden in one of these trees, I will find it. Teeny tiny tots, where are you? Come out now and we won't hurt you. Maybe we should split up, Darcy. All right, but there's something I want to tell you first. What's that? Earlier, you didn't think that I was trying to double-cross you or anything, did you? Hey, it's a competition. I wouldn't respect you if you weren't a little bit devious. So don't be upset if I am. Hmm. Let's see now. If I were a miniature-sized goody-goody, I'd like things that were pretty and smelled nice. I'm gonna find you! Come to Darcy Warcy. Okay, Glim, get ready to fly. That's not the yellow. Periscope up. Okay, it's time for us to go. Peekaboo, I got you. <laughs> Yet. Are you lost? How could we be lost already? Don't know about how I lost track of the right way. I'm sorry. Okay, just relax and get your bearings. Just follow your instincts and you'll get us there. I know it. Okay, we'll go toward the hollow tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got three seconds to start talking. Hey, I can't understand that ridiculous pipsqueak language. Who are you calling a pipsqueak? Me or my friends here with their stingers? Huh? Oh, oh no! Buzz, are you alright? Mm -hmm. Try that again and I'll take your stinger and use it in a police. Leave them alone! Huh? More little annoying bugs. I need a pest control spell. If you think being this size is so bad, let's see how you like this. Huh? <sighs> hey, that itches. Now it tickles. <laughs> hey, would you stop it? Please stop! All right, where else do goody goodies hide? <laughs> <laughs> take you down, Darcy? She was tickling me. I couldn't help it. That's humiliating, but fortunately, I'm here, and I'm not ticklish at all. Hey, are we teaming up again? At least long enough to teach these little bugs to respect those bigger than they are. <laughs> Think about it. Hey, stop that! You're too small to catch. That's right, we're small, so small that you don't have a chance against us. Yeah, we'll see how you like this, Bill. Go bigger! <laughs> now it's gonna be a fair fight. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. This is bad. I'm the pixie of love and should love my fellow creatures, not squash them. Chico, I'm so happy you're okay. It's me, Bridget. Don't be scared. And now, witches, it's time you learn some respect for little creatures like us. Actually, our size is now quite large. I mean, we're even bigger than the fairies. In fact, much bigger. 
bigger. It's not very ladylike, but we're immense, enormous, gargantuan, humongous. We're colossal. Yes, we are, and just in time to take care of some things that need taking care of. Huh? Ah! Oopsie, I guess that I made them a little too big. You're done, tiny tot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that we've established that you're still a weak little pixie, tell us where your village is. I'm not telling you a thing. A couple more minutes in the cooler and you'll start talking big shot. What is your crystal ball telling you about the witches, Amore? All three have a strange love energy, which maybe we can use against them. Can you tell what it's about? Oh, yes, I sure can. I see a powerful man in your lives, witches. And he will choose one of you. Icy because of your beauty and leadership. Stormy because of your emotional power. Or Darcy with your mesmerizing ways. Right now he's undecided. But I, the pixie of love, can tip the balance. I can influence who he will fall in love with. All I have to do is toss this pixie dust on one of you. Sprinkle it over here. First, six digit three. I want that pixie dust right now. Huh? Stop right now. Valtor, if I wasn't in this ice trap, I'd squash you. This witch on witch contest is over. I need you for other battles. Battles more important than this. Let me out of here! Oh. <laughs> I just squashed Darcy and Stormy. I guess I don't know my own size. Poor witches. But wow, Digit, you're like a hero. Uh-oh, their spell is wearing off. Too bad, that was kind of fun. <laughs> Those two were defeated by pixies. Not only is it pathetic, but it's also embarrassing to me. Now go get them and bring them home. Hi, we're back. <laughs> Welcome home. You can have your computer now if you want. No, no, stay as long as you like. Thanks a lot, but that's okay. I'm all done. I realized it's important for you to have a place for pretend play, so anytime you want to use the computer, just go right ahead. I'm not really into video games anymore. I'm more into the real thing now. <laughs> huh? Hey Tune, we didn't find Valtor, but I can tell you about our adventures if you want. I'm all adventured out for today, but thanks anyway. <clears throat> have you seen Kiko? It's strange, you guys. He usually comes running up to welcome me home the second I come back from a mission. Some mission? We couldn't find any trace of Baltor. Hey, you guys! Guess what? The Pixie saw Baltor today! Huh? What? It's true. And it sounds like Little Digit took down two witches. Thank you, thank you, everybody. But I didn't do it alone. I had the help of the other Pixies and Kiko and the Pixie Pets as well. They all deserve credit, too. And so we give a citation of valor to our brave Pixies with a special medal for Digit. You really came through very big for us today. Actually, you'd be surprised just how big I was. <laughs>